Hey friends, one of the great mysteries of Microsoft Word is the relationship between outline view, styles, and multi-level lists. And I received a lovely question from a gentleman who filled out their question and emailed me uh, in a Word document. How nice is that? They have an outline that they use for their public presentations and they like that they, uh, they like the mobile outline view that you see an iPad on Word. That's when you go view outline. You'll notice here we have no outline. They want the ability to go and have different levels and then have those levels appear like this where they can go and collapse and open their outline. It's really nice for large documents. You can see that here we don't have any styles at all. We have a lot of formatting, but there's no actual styles. So let's look at First, defining styles. We have some default styles, like here I just made that all heading to. Everyone's document has embedded styles. There's the normal dot, uh, dot, normal dot dot document template styles. So when you say make a new app, you know, make a new uh, document, I can go like this. And here I get some default styles, okay? But this person hasn't used any of those styles. They want that heading one to be this style. They manually changed the colors and they manually laid all of that out. So how can we do this? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click off to the left here. Notice the difference between selecting text with your mouse versus on the left hand side. See how the cursor switched from facing this direction to facing that direction. It's going back and forth. I'm going to select that. And then the trick is people don't realize that that's a button and that's a button. Okay. There's two interesting things going on here. I'm going to click right here. Okay, I'm going to click right there. And that's going to open up this, what's called a modeless dialog, meaning it's floating around. I can still do stuff in Word, and this styles dialog still lets me do stuff. And it's a list of my styles. But I can also pull this down, and I can say create a style. And I'm going to create a style from selecting, then clicking, create a style. I'm going to call it H1. Okay, so I just made a style called H1. You see it just appeared right there. Okay, and a style, of course, is a collection of all of the different formatting things that are going on. In fact, if I want to click on H1, right click here on H1 and say modify, you can actually see in kind of in, in generated English, it's saying, all right, this name style, H1, is a collection of all of these formatting things. Okay, so I'm going to very quickly no cuts, just click, create a style, H2, click, create a style, H3. You can see it looks like it's adding a little bit of a space after that uh, paragraph. We can clean that up later, but that's just uh, being inherited from normal. So that'll be H5. And they all line up nicely. So we've got some styles. Now, are those styles part of a multi-level list? That's a separate thing. There are bulleted lists, and then there are multi-level lists. And this little guy right here, that little little chevron, that little drop-down is really interesting. You can click on that, and you can come down here and say, define multi-level list. Define multi-level list. So there's a relationship between styles and where they are within a level. So I want to be able to say, hit enter, test number two, hit tab. I just tabbed in. Now I'm here, I can hit shift tab, right? And I can move out. I wanna be able to have all of these styles related to each other. The way that that works is that they are all part of a, not a bulleted list, but a multi-level list. So here we have a multi-level list and we can link the level to the style, okay? So in this case, level one is linked to the one that I just named H1. Got that? So then 2 is 2, 3, 4, 5. That happened automatically because I was selecting already nested items within the list. But if you wanted to clean that up, you can. You can link any level to any named style. The names don't matter. Foo, Bar, Baz, whatever. In this case, I chose to do it that way. Okay? Happened automatically because they were already laid out by our, by our friend here. Okay? Now you can see when I'm clicking here, H1 has a little square around it, little black square. If 
by clicking H2, H3, H4, H5. These ones, you got to come down here. There's H5. That one's not an H5. That's an H5. You can see it here. You can see it here. That's an H5. This one here is not. I should make it an H5, right? That's a four. That's a three. So I'm applying these. I'm applying these styles to make sure that the gentleman stuff is completely the way that they want it. Again, you've got that little extra space there. As you can see, it's shifting a smidge as I click around there. Looks like we might need to change heading three. I'm not sure if they want what they want that to look like. Might be a little inconsistency there. Okay, so at least it's complete. And you can go and modify these. Again, remember, I can always right click and I can say modify and have all these things set. Cool. Now, did that make everything line up inside of outline view? No. Here's the mystery. This is like the great, the great mystery of Word. How do these things relate? Well, the level in outline view is in the paragraph style, the paragraph. So I'm gonna right click, we'll say uh, heading one. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna say modify style. I'm gonna get to this older dialogue. Down here, I'm gonna click format. I'm gonna click on paragraph. So we are in the, we are currently modifying the H1 style and within it, the sub format of paragraph. Okay, format paragraph. Here's the part that is that no one figures out. And I took me a while to remember this. Outline level. Outline level sits with paragraph formatting. Isn't that interesting? Crazy. Cool. So now for each of these, I need to set those. And you can also set collapsed or not collapsed by default. So there's level one. We'll do format paragraph level two. You're going to want to make sure that one of them is body text. Otherwise, you're going to end up with, you won't be able to collapse anything down and, you know, hide your paragraphs. Okay, that'll be three. Right click, modify, format, paragraph, four. And finally, in this case, format, paragraph, five. Okay, okay, cool. Now, view, outline. Look at that. That's pure money, baby. Show levels. Let's go back to, oops, I, I just clicked too fast. I've been clicking around too much. I want to go back to outlining. Show levels, just show level two, just show level three, just show level five, just show level one. Isn't that lovely? All levels. So now we have associated our multi-level list with a series of styles. And then those styles will appear in the outline view. But I need to make sure, like if that's a two, it has to have the two style or the one style. So that's a two. Is it, here's this gentleman's question, is there a way to do a multi-level list that incorporates all these features? Yes. Now notice though, if I hit two, that's the size for two. We decided on that size. So that kind of gets ridiculous because he said, he said, hey, I want it this size. So is that the size for level two? It has to be consistent, otherwise it won't work because all these have to be the same size. Maybe what the gentleman wanted was three. And I'm just gonna go and hit tab. See, shift tab, tab. So now I have a level one and a level three. Regardless, it is consistent inside of my outline view. How fun is that, friends? Cool. You know, when you get a really good email, it's just a gift. So thank you for sending me that email. I hope that this, uh, this helps you because now I'm going to go to sleep and a couple of dozen people will watch this YouTube video and hopefully find it useful. So do you really know Microsoft Office? It's deep. It's, it's broad and it's deep. And I hope that this helps you out. Have a great day.